We've got a bit of a uh, mockingbird crow disturbance here. Some sort of a bird fight going on. Actually, it's blue jays fighting crows. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of loud, but it's pretty much nature, and we're going to keep going with it. I just wanted to start today's video off by saying thanks to you guys for tuning in to all these videos. I feel extremely blessed to be alive and be able to not necessarily go fish for a living, but go go make content for a living and, and do something that I love, um, which is be on the water and be in the outdoors. So I just want to say thank you so much um, to every single one of you. And also, uh, Mystery Tackle Box, as today's video is, is brought to uh, to you by Mystery Tackle Box, long, t long time supporter of the channel, and they just launched their Elite Box very recently. If you guys want to go pick one of these up or one of the regular pro boxes or just go check out their other stuff you can check them out they're linked down below um, and there's a link to also get ten dollars off your first box if you want to go get signed up i'm going to go through some of that stuff today i'm about to go meet uh, lunkers tv at the lake and go get to fishing uh, but i just want to say thanks uh, thanks to you guys and if you like the content go ahead and subscribe right here Click the ding dong deal because that's how you get the notifications to see all the other videos and I uh, appreciate you guys very much. I just want to tell you right off the bat, I love you. Now let's go get some fish on the line. Okay. I look like a grandpa. See that mud line? I see a lot of things. Look at that bird just hanging out, looking for bait. We out here looking at creeks. You know how we do. We're gonna do a little exploratory action here up in these creeks. The other day I saw a shad spawn going on. First thing when I get here, birds. Birds are out, they're on the bank, they're looking. So uh, that's that's a good indicator. 67, got to love it. That's good, what, what you don't want is it to go below like 60 degrees. We've had some cold fronts, but it hasn't hasn't gotten below that. It's afternoon right now. So I got Nesquik water, gin clear, and one of them's like normal Texas color. And that's all down here in the southern half of this lake. Three different creeks, three different clarities. This is chocolate duty water. We're moving on. Moving on to something better. We're gonna do a little something different for, for y'all here today. I am gonna show you the pro box. I've got both the boxes. I've got Elite and Pro. I've already used some of these because they're freaking good. These Exo Swims, I've been using these a bunch, catching them pretty much everywhere. This is for the, the April Pro Box. A little prop bait, I really like these in May actually. Once the water gets upper 60s, good stuff. Uh, looks like some sort of drop shot bait, big bites bait. I think that's called the Limit Getter. We got a Mondo Crank, that's a BD 4.5. Chunk Tail Grubs, these are Lucky John. Oh, and I freaking, I took my, I took, already took the spinnerbait out. That's what's missing. I already took the spinnerbait out. Anyway, got a Ketchco spinnerbait in there, and uh, I've got some of these. Put them on your crankbaits. It's good for storage, so you don't snag your carpet or your pants or your dog or whatever. Whoop, that is a log. I'm going to switch angles. Let's see the lead box, what it looks like. It's a step up. It's more expensive, but you know, if you want to get some money off, use the code in the description box. And this is a Mega Bass Custom Worm, so this is like a uh, a little craw style bait. Mega Bass is known for making some good hand poured stuff and some other good plastics. Biovex Joint Gill 116. Got a little swim bait action. Boom. What big old bass isn't going to want to slurp that after the, the bluegill start to spawn up in the shallows. Plus they get pissed off at those things in the springtime. We've got the Sunny Bee again. That just reminded me of Sunny Bee. Remember that juice drink? It was, it was bad. Jackal Flick Shake, I've used these in the past. Um, you can put them on a Flick Shake head or you can rig them on a shaky head. I've actually used this particular color, which I think is called Bluegill. They're just loading you up on the Exo Swims, which I promise you, Rob can attest to this, they, they work. Caught a lot of fish on those yeah, lately. Yozuri. Lipless crank, it's got some prism thing going on. I like the rattles that they use though. And then we've got a Booyah prank, which it looks like a popper, but at closer glance, it is a crank pop. Is this is this like an April Fool's thing? No, that's real. It is real. Well, I, I don't know. I guess you pop it or crank it. What do you feel like? It says prank, so I was kind of figuring it's April. April Fools. But that is the Elite Box, so as comparison, without further ado, it is time to get a line wet. 
let's begin our journey. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take that little exo swim. I'm gonna slap it on a chatter bait. Gotta have a moving bait always, especially when the shad spawn's going on. Hung on something. Well, I have like six, seven pairs in the damn pool. There he is. Yep. Whoa, is that a crappie? What is know. that? Oh, it's a largemouth. It's a large okay. On the moving bait. <laughs> yeah. Well, he slurped it. I hit him with a little, hit him with a little jab, and then paused it. You hit him with a jab. Hit him with a jab. Hit him with a jab. First fish. Chatter bait with uh, that exo swim. Not quite the quality that we're. There's no way you can fish fish all this water back here. It's explore time. What was that? Explore time. Oh, are you trying to uh, bless me? We've been going up in the creek. No bites. Had a couple sticks, a couple tree pounders. That's about it. Back here a little ways just to check and see if they're all the way back. Sometimes they're all the way back. This is why everybody gets out and fishes right now because big fish get up shallow. Sometimes they go all the way in the backs of the creeks. This is kind of a fairly new lake for us. We haven't really figured it out, so that's what it's going to be. You guys are going to come along though. Might learn some. Take a gander and look at this water you guys. Oh, buddy, look at the look at the bubbles. You see all those bubbles? Yeah, I see all the bubbles. You know what that is? Gator. Oh, it's a spring. Oh, oh my god. Wow. It's like we're on Lake Erie all of a sudden. Dude, I didn't notice that spring. Look at it. We got a bubble. Yeah. That's crazy, man. Yep. That yep. looks like one of those fish trap things. That's a bass right there. Oh yeah, look at him. Yeah. Little dude. It's worth Main taking a look at. Main lake? Yeah. Currently examining a red tail hawk. It's been quite the bird day. We saw a bald eagle earlier. Hoping we could see some flying. Thinking about starting a birding channel with Rob. Let us know in the comments if you would tune into that. Anyway, that's a nice bird. I'm gonna get back to fishing. <laughs> that's a fish. You have a fish? Yep. Hey, another one. It's absolutely salerped. Salerped. Well, that's not bit with the uh, exo swim. I was kind of slow, slow dangling it. We're just on like a random bank, just going where there's a little wind. I heard bells, but well, at this point, you're about to go find out. I'm really hungry. I think I hear an ice cream truck, so that's pretty much the moral of this story. I've got Rob's wallet, and I'm going for ice cream. I was actually cashing there. What too. do you want? Anything? Any chocolate? <laughs> Uh, I think it's a funeral. Yeah. So no ice cream at funerals. That did not go. That went a total opposite direction. I know. It makes sense. Yeah. Now that now we heard church bells earlier. Yeah, yeah. Like yep. I'm gonna take a breather. That's that's like one of the most disappointing things right there. You think there's ice cream, there's not ice cream, and then there's a funeral. Anyway, back to fishing. I'm been sitting here throwing that dig. I, why, I'm Can't get a bite. Why won't they eat it? Why won't they eat anything that's not moving? That's the real question. Maybe they're, they're just looking up. They're looking for Chad. Maybe, maybe the Chad swan's about to start. Maybe, that that's yeah, going maybe it was going on this morning. You know, we just kind of. Oh, I just got bumped again right there. For really? Sure, 100%. A little yeah, crank, probably. a little chatter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Drop some Chick-fil-A, please. <laughs> drop, drop, drop it hard. God dang, we got five fighter jets dropping Chick-fil-A sandwiches. Yeah, drop them. Woo. Yeah. They didn't drop us no. any Chick-fil-A. No, Chick-fil-A. God dang it. Okay, coming in hot. A lot of odd things today. I'm not really sure. Fish? Smoked? Big? I didn't even have my hand on the reel because I'm watching an airplane. Yeah, I got smoked. He could hit a boat. <laughs> Who knows? I don't think that's legal to do that. Uh, he just flew right over that boat. Dude, I've never what? seen anything like that. I mean, if this dude comes over our head that low, I'm throwing this thing into his freaking pro. Oh my. Dude, if I'm that boat, I'm pissed. His prop is probably 20 feet above the boat. What are you doing there, cowboy? 
It comes, it's shallowing up here. Oh, get lost in God I'm dang it. It's shallowing up here pretty good. Ah, thumped it good. I know, man. Yeah, it was a nice thump. Well, not gonna sit here and tell you it was a barn burner. Oh my god dang. My hands smell like JJ's magic garlic <laughs> sauce. Didn't didn't produce nothing. We're gonna take it on in, y'all. It was definitely better than the last time we came out here. I didn't get to last yeah, time. It, okay. Would you come out here and do the same thing and feel Yeah, I'd start off doing that hundred percent. For sure. They ain't on the bottom. They're not on the bottom. Go in here and see what Ocean Spoon Girl's doing, see if she's feeling any better today. Well, there's a heavy bulldog. Are you feeling oh, better? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh easy so now. I just Hey, no! All right, so you've been dealing with that. <laughs> well, everything was just very calm before Until you I came in. A uh, little baby is doing good. Little, little melon. I feel like my hunger like, keeps coming and going. Like I wasn't hungry and then I had dinner and now I'm hungry. <laughs> Probably because you missed out on those excellent fish last night. So I get here, I go into my little temporary editing area back behind me. I load the SD cards on, do my normal routine. I'm looking at footage and I can't hear anything. Um, on the outro I did with Rob. Bet you never see that on normal TV, huh? So what I was explaining there when I got off the water with Rob was, you know, today was a kind of hard day to figure out a lake that we have have hardly fished, have yet to really unlock uh, where a lot of these big fish are. We were not seeing uh, fish on the bottom. We would have never figured out how to catch any fish if we were not paying attention to the electronics because we were gun uh, dead set on uh, throwing jigs and, and throwing things on the bottom. Luckily, I had that exo swim on a chatterbait. The previous time that I went out there, that's the only fish I caught was on that as well, uh, but also with the shad spawn going on, but we were not there in the morning for the, the actual spawn on the bank or wherever they were spawning. So they were out away and all the fish in the lake seemed to be suspended across the board uh, so we were seeing a lot of shad like four to eight feet down and so that's why the the crankbait was was working for rob um, i was throwing that exo swim got a few bites on it just swimming it um, also on that on that chatterbait uh, spinnerbait probably would have worked jerk bait any kind of when you're seeing fish suspended like that that's what you have to do you have to try to meet them in the middle which is a more difficult way to fish if we didn't have electronics we were just throwing texas rigs jigs and things like that on trees and bushes it just goes right past them down to the bottom we would have not got a bite all day so i wanted to explain that to you guys so if you have electronics and you're looking and you're like man i'm not getting a bite and, and the fish are just suspended some days when you got a little wind, you just got to get a moving bait out, cover some water, and that's your, the best thing you can do. It's just hard when they're suspended. It's kind of a weird day out of the water, really. Now here's the other part you missed out on on the audio issue. What I wanted to do for you guys is combine the two boxes I had out on the water today and ship it out to you, okay? Give you some gear. And Rob also threw in one of his chatter baits as well because he had a bunch of stuff he was cleaning up on, on the front of his boat. So all you gotta do is leave a comment right here. I'll get OSG to package this up for you and send it on out, because he's such a sweetheart. So sorry about the audio issue, guys. I don't know if it was my fault or the camera's fault or what. I have uh, been a little discombobulated for a while now, really. You ever feel discombobulated? Let me know in the comments so I don't feel as bad. Not really mental acuity, but just kind of life in general. Just kind of open up to you guys for a second here. So before Willis, before the brain tumor, me and Stephanie were uh, talking about starting a family. Uh, wanted to move up here, like closer to family, so we could uh, have some help with raising our kids and all that. And then Willis happened, that was obviously a shocker in life. Then obviously our house hunting was put on hold. We are wanting to get a home and just get back s settled in so, so bad. I, I know you guys probably miss this a little bit, but just having our home with Winston, come home, everything is in its, in its place and I could just function a lot better. I just feel like we haven't got back to normalcy yet because we've been like vagabonds on the road, traveling around, uh, going to hospitals, going 
going to stay with different people in different cities. So I'm happy to report uh, the house hunting has been going well and I'm pretty sure we've got at least one that's gonna work and I feel like will be an awesome place to, to grow as a family and also to create content for you guys. So just send a little prayer up that we can get back in a, in a house together. Uh, although I, I love that my parents have given us this opportunity, but it's kind of time to get out, you know what I'm saying? And I want to thank you guys again, just like I did in the beginning of the video, for just supporting me and Stephanie through this crazy past year and just keeping us going with all the positivity. It has really been a huge driver in, uh, in our lives. I can't wait to get back into a routine of uh, just making more fishing videos and family videos at home too with our home. So thank you guys for being here. If you've been tagging along, you wanna subscribe, it's easy and it's free. Go ahead and do it and we will see you on the next video.